Okay. This is... A what? There was a mess of blood and entrails on the wall, as if someone were launched across the corridor at a tremendous speed and spattered on impact. The smell was positively vile. Seiko had commented on it before, but it was really hitting me now. With every breath I took was triggering my gag reflex. It was all I could do to not vomit again. Okay, better not some, like, bullshit ghost. Just, like, pops up on my face. I'm not sure if I like, like, I like this search mode. Because, like, it's kind of freaking me out. Oops. I just... The door to the science lab is frozen in place as if it was if it was just a decoration in the wall. It can't be opened. I don't As long as I don't like turn the corner like this and then it's like ooh ooga booga booga. The door is frozen in place. Thank you. I don't like this. As I wandered through the darkened corridors, every hair on my body was standing out of attention. I had goosebumps from head to toe. It felt like a fog of unease was swirling around me with each step I took. And that fog was growing thicker and thicker to such an extent that I began fearing the darkness might swallow me whole and I ceased to exist. I could feel my sanity slipping away. I didn't know how much longer it could hold out and I was starting to lose patience. I just wanted to get over with. Fear was like a slime covering my entire being. No matter how much I wiped, I was only squishing around it around. I w it wouldn't come off and it was stuck fast. Uh. Okay. I walked around aimlessly, calling out Seiko's name. By doing so, I think I was a able to dull my senses and just barely maintain my grip on reality. Seiko! Doko! Enjiste! Seiko, where are you? Please answer me! I wasn't thinking straight. I want to apologize. What? Up ahead, I swore I saw light glinting off something. It looked for a moment like a web of sinewy string, sinewy string stretched all across the hall. Ugh. I 
I slowly crept, for crept forward until I could confirm that they were, in fact, strands of wire. Gently, I reached out a finger and touched the closest one. Ow! I pulled my hand away, looking down at it, there was a now a very fine clean slice right on the tip of my finger. Tiny red beads were beginning to form. Those beads just kept getting bigger and bigger as I watched, eventually swelling into one another and forming a single drop of blood. And that drop quickly became too heavy for its perch. It began when wending its way down my hand towards my wrist. Piano, Piano wire? No, it's a little different. I couldn't believe it had cut so deeply ju from just one faint touch. Had it been sharpened? It, it really stung. If I hadn't noticed those wires strung up across the hall and had just kept walking, I shudder to think what might have happened. Ugh. Death not from malevolent spirits, but from a mere booby trap? Who could have done this? That's that's pretty scary. There was definitely a planned malice behind it. I could sense an ill will in the air and began to tremble. Was someone watching me, even at that very moment? Was someone just... Was someone just waiting for me to fall into their trap and die so they could gloat about it? Is someone there? Hey! It was like an unconscious shout. I couldn't control myself. I was scared and whoever did this was heartless. I couldn't just let it go. So, stop this! Stop this, please! You're scaring me! Don't! Don't do these awful things to people! A bevy of negative emotions began swimming through my head. I suddenly realized I was crying. And I knew that this corridor, with its web of razor-sharp piano wire, was effectively impassable, at least for the moment. I needed to find some way to cut these wires, or some means of disabling the tra that trap at any rate. I decided to go back the way I came and search the rest of the school for answers. Oh. I don't know why this is, this is like, for serial freaking me out. I don't know why this setup is is just freaking me out, but it's like I, well, I've explained. I'm expecting to go like, oh, let's look over here, like ghost. Okay. I think I'm just freaking myself out. Okay, so is that hallway blocked or that hallway? Of course it is. The door to classroom 3A is frozen in place, as if it was just decoration. There's a note. There's a note on the wall. Please, no ghosts. Smudgy blood red lettering reads, Getting close to the darkness is one way to learn the truth. This whole place sits close to darkness, after all. Mmm, cheery. Door's frozen in place. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. This is really freaking me out, like, this is freaking me out more than the first game. Alright, let's go. Ugh. I'm like, just expecting shit, man. No! Okay... Hello? Rooms frozen in place. It's a decomposing growth of smell. Judging by the height and uniform, this is probably once a male student. High school noon tag seems to have survived in tag. Prominently displayed now damp discolored blazer. Matsukaze Prefectural High School. Kasuhiro Murofushi. Okay. Okay. This is not a nice place. This is not a nice place at all. All right, nothing here. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Okay, time, time to go. Um, uh. Can I go in? Oh, I can! Oh, what? What? What's that light? There weren't any lights on and the whole school was bathed in darkness, yet in this lone room a small circle of light just kept blinking on and off. It seemed almost as if it would turn on whenever I looked at it and turn off whenever I looked away. Or maybe it was just my imagination. But it could be possible that someone would, could be trying to get my attention. Is anybody there? No response. I began to get more and more creeped out with every passing second. At first I thought maybe somebody was watching me, and now I was almost certain of it. Oh, Jesus. So I got closer to the source of the light. The blinking stopped. The light was now fully on. <clears throat> There's a bleached white skeleton sprawled out. Judging by the height, uniform, male, junior high. Looking closely, faded blazer. Shubu University Middle School, Masashi Kawasaki. Okay. 
A flashlight and it's on. Saki no me metsua, non dotta no daro. Chikazuku to tomata noga, yoke ni bukimi sao aoru. I wonder if this is the source of the blinking light. It didn't turn steady when I got near the thing, but that just left me with more questions. Uh, 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 I don't know. There wasn't a flashlight in the original game, so I, I don't know. T take it. Or maybe a ghosty is trying to communicate with us. Maybe it's just low on batteries, and that's why I kept going on and off. That's what I told myself as I picked up the discarded flashlight! Ah! Okay! Oh, 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 Nothing seemed particularly odd about it, and it was just your regular run-of-the-mill flashlight, and it really did seem low on batteries. I'd... Make sure to use it sparingly so as not to waste what little energy it had left. Okay. Shells are littered with dead lice. Ew. If one were to rest one's armors, ew, 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 gross. Okay, we're, we're, we're leaving. We're leaving now. Can I go in here? I'm scared. Oh! It's more piano wire. It's There was yet another piece of piano wire. There is yet another piece of piano wire in this room, seemingly razor sharp like the others, but only one could avoid it easily with some care. Uh, uh. Um. I feel as if I shouldn't. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save. What is this thing? In the corner of the room sat an ant and and whatever mechanical device with a lever attached to it. I'm sorry, I'm not freaking out. Freaking out! Freaking out! It prominently featured two wheels with spools of translucent wire coiled around and projecting out towards the ceiling in a perfect tight line. Could this be the source of the booby trap or could this be the booby trap itself? Pull the lever? Um. Pull it? That's a pretty big lever. I wonder if it'll even move. Oh. I'm about to set something off and it's gonna like slice me to a million pieces, right? The machine was old and the lever was rusted, so it wasn't going to give without a fight. I could rattle it a little though, so I figured I had a chance. I did it! Huh? It's gone! The piano wire, it's gone! What does it mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? I don't like it here. This is it sounds like such a simple setup. What? Oh, I'm sorry. 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 I'm
We can leave. Don't worry. As soon as I entered the room, I had a bad feeling about it. I don't know why this is... This is like... Freaking me out, man. God, will you shut up so I can tell the audience how much this is freaking me out? Oh my god. Like, I don't know, I don't know why everything is freaking me out here. But for some reason, just everything is just freaking me out. The silence was almost deafening. There wasn't a single sound to be heard. This room and this room alone felt very different than the others. Oh boy. Okay. I don't want to, I don't want to search. I don't want to search. I want to leave. Ugh. Okay. Okay. There was two skeletal remains. Both of them mostly withered at this point. They seemed to have died huddled up one another. Both were female and looked to be around junior or senior high school age. There's a school name tag attached to the remains of one of the uniforms. Kara Suyami High School Sato Yuzuki. And the other one? There's two skeletal marines. They seem to have died huddled together. Both are female. There's a school name tag attached to the remains. This one. Miki Sato. Okay. What is this? Class lock. I ate a student today. I was hungry, so I had to. Plus, we played rock, paper, scissors, and I lost. I thought I'd lose to an adult, but I didn't. Okay. あ。子供の書いた元気な絵。クレヨンで書かれているみたい。口を大きく開けて、スイカを食べているのかな。This is Okay, it's child's crayon drawing, very vibrant, colorful, the subject's mouth is open, she seems to be eating watermelon. Okay, okay, I wish... Okay. Leaving. Gone. No. Stop. Thank you. Uh, go. Just, go on. Just leave, please. Hey! There's a large hole in the floor, too big to jump across. Getting to the other side won't be possible from here. A fantabulous. Oh, what? There's a large hole. Getting across is stupid. Okay. See, I, I know people are looking at this and they're like, why are you freaking out about this? It's not so bad. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Following words to scroll on the back where your friend is a traitor, you're gonna run. Okay, this should have been here. Somebody ever in. Okay, okay, friendship. Okay, okay, I didn't know if it was a person or a ghost who did this, but whoever it was, it was a terrible thing to do. This is really starting to get to me. Somebody here, stop harassing me, whoever you are. Please, stop. Can't do this anymore, I just can't. I can't see the existence of a person. I didn't even know who I was angry with, but make no mistake, I was seething. I was probably really close to my breaking point. I ran out of the room, never even pausing to wipe the tears from my eyes. How's my darkening? 
Not good. All right, so I cleared the hole with the piano wire, right? What? Who? Not cool, man. This, this, this is this. No, not no, not cool, not cool, not cool, not cool, not cool. This is freaking me out. Like, I don't know why this is getting to me. Oh my god, I don't, I don't know. Holy shit. <laughs> I, I. Sh this is, this is freaky. Like. Compared to the first game, like, this is... I don't even know! Like, I feel like this is much more psychological than, um, than the first game. Also, the fact is, like, it doesn't help that it's really friggin' late, and I'm tired, so it's probably getting to me, like, even more, and just... I'm... Break. <laughs> Break time for me. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is, uh... Yeah, okay. Um, Lady Renesaro, thank you for watching. This is... I don't... I gotta go. Goodbye.